with the bag rack mostly done we still got to figure out a few things but with that mostly done we just got little stuff we got to do figure out the brake lines on the front finish those up front drive shaft center console system um, we just got this mounted it is all hooked up for the transmission so we just got to finish the center console area and get that all dialed in and then go over put the interior back together um, none of this this was a two-wheel drive with a um, column shift so there was no holes in the door, so we got to go through and mount all the center console pieces to be able to mount the center console uh, and then put this cut the carpet up fit it in set the seats in and the interior will be complete and then we'll move on to the rest of the little stuff so it's getting there should be hopefully ready for its first startup and now that this has kind of the shape we want um, we're gonna fine tune it cut everything down to make it fit exactly how we want it and then build the top panel that will be one piece all the way back and then so got the whole packed in with the spot welds and the brackets um, so now I'm gonna cut that little piece so it has a switch panel still in the front and everything fits good I got to modify this shifter just a little bit to bring it in um, and everything should clear and then the boot will go over that so now let's finish this up and throw some carpet down Um, here's a look with the carpet in looks pretty good um, obviously doesn't cover all that because it's a lot taller but once the seats in there it's gonna look like it's supposed to be going through making sure all the brake lines are tight and then once we get everything all tightened up and squared away Make sure everything's good, then we'll put some brake fluid in it and see if we got leaks or not. Hopefully not. Front shock mounts are in, or shocks are in. Got the brake lines all hooked up. Tighten down. Put some recovery points on the front end, and then we are also building some recovery points for the rear.
Made a cardboard template, cut out two, quarter inch, and then a piece of inch and a half 250 wall DOM, and put it all together, and it makes that. And then we'll weld that together, and then it slides in on the bumper like that. Nice tight fit, catches the, the main mount tube back here as well. So it should be plenty strong and recovery point. Building a quick fairlade mount for the rear wing. That way, if it winches at an angle, it won't uh, pull on the sheet metal. So we'll just have to clearance that and then should be good. And now uh, the rear bumper is complete with a fairlade mount for the hidden winch. So should be good. Not quite a bit done. Got to bleed the brakes and build a front drive shaft, and that's everything underneath the truck. Um, and then interior's already back together and ready to go. Uh, just kind of put a boot on the triple stick and then that's it so it's almost ready to start up and drive
front drive shaft installed. Everything clears. It's pretty tight here, but this is that full droop. And we have six and a half inches of spline showing with, and I made it 10 to quarter long. So plenty of spline engagement at full droop. So should be good. We have a, a strip stud on this side, so I didn't torque the spacer down yet. Uh, that means we gotta pull it all the way back apart and replace the stud, but after that we can torque the spacer and then the front end will be complete. Working on figuring out some wiring for the transmission since this is a four-wheel drive transmission and the old transmission is a two-wheel drive. Uh, this transmission has 20 wires, the old transmission had five. So I'm gonna try to figure out some wiring and see if we can get this thing to start up. So these are the wires that go to the old transmission. Uh, there's two plugs with two wires each and then one plug up here. These two, uh, looking at the wiring on the old transmission, go to the solenoid. So I took the solenoid wiring which was this plug and one more plug which had three matching wires and then this plug I used the pink wire out of it um, and it worked 